Alright, yo guys, welcome to episode 15 of the Balkan series. We're doing a full day of for you guys today. I'm heading back at Zoo Culture. I'm currently in the changing rooms of a Nike factory store because I need some new shorts and uh, we saw one on the way on the Jarrett. I'm going to try them on. Alright, so shorts number one. Looking pretty good, to be fair. Yeah, and these red ones are pretty neat. It's tempting. Might have to get them. Rather short cube. Alright, so we're outside the zoo with Jarrett. What up, gang? And uh, I'm about to finish off my first meal, which is my pre workout meal. Got 150 grams of chicken and cream of rice, which is 110 grams of cream of rice, 25 grams of honey, and 100 grams of banana. So quick digestion, and um, only one meal, because if I had two, then my digestion would not be good for the back day, which we're about to do, and I want to be on form, so. And then Jarrett has given me four of these Hi. pump pills. Give it a try. And then question, yeah. So he's been sent this pre-workout, Oh wait, not this one. This is the normal one. This is the this is the chunky one. And apparently, apparently it works well. But if it ain't, that doesn't look right. If it ain't chunky, it ain't pumpy or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if it's good, it's good. But it needs to be a bit smoother than that. I think. So there's some really nice equipment in here. But we're gonna start off with some order and something that we're used to, which is lap pool and before we move into the fun stuff. grams of EAAs and I got 50 grams of carbs, 200 calories from my intro workout. So obviously that's part of the calories for the day.
rep out the workout zoo culture. They're never the best workouts in the sense that obviously I'm not as locked in and focused as I usually am. So many people around and conversations and it's you know more of an influence to the gym. But the equipment is great, it's good to have a change of setting and to meet some cool people. I met some people today that I've talked to and interacted with online for a long time and it's cool to meet them in person and you know connect in person. Uh, it's just that much more genuine. So can I have my post workout meal now? I'll show what it is when I'm eating. Alright, so we're at the car, just about to head back to SB and here is my post-workout meal. So I got 150 grams of Rice Krispies and I have in here 50 grams, I mean it's a bit clumpy so I need to shake it more. 50 grams of whey isolate with water and that's kind of like the milk for the Rice Krispies. So calories and macros on the screen. Is it even in the um, Back in that caveman ages, you know what I'm saying? There we go. So I've come back from the zoo for about an hour now, two hour drive back from LA and I've taken a shower and just chilled a bit. I'm honestly still not hungry and even though I've only had two meals today, it's 7pm and I guess because I've been having 4,000 calories for a prolonged period of time now, just don't have appetite but I'm still going to get the food down as I should because the bulk must continue. And for meal three here, I have the typical bodybuilder, 150 grams of chicken. 250 grams of white rice and then 15 grams of this MCT oil, which is like healthy fats. So simple but effective meal. I'm gonna get on some uni work and even though I don't want to do it, I'm really tired. It has to be done. I'd also decide to share something that I don't think I've heard being talked too much about, which is the reality of being more tired when you're bulking. If we think about obviously you are eating more food, you're in a calorie surplus to try and grow. You're constantly building yourself to be bigger and bigger. You're lifting more weights in the gym. You're eating more food than you ever have. And you're just constantly digesting food. I think it definitely does take a toll on your body. Like your body's constantly being beaten up. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Obviously it's good. Like I'm willingly doing this and I want to do this. But I think as this is the season for bulking, just maybe a bit of awareness and you're not gonna feel the same way you do when you're mid cut and you're full of energy and you're just absolutely flying. The reality, I think, what I've experienced in the bulk is that it's harder to do things. And obviously, I'm not saying give yourself an excuse to not do what you need to do. Obviously, do what you need to do. But I think just knowing that you are going to be more tired than you would be when you're cutting is just a nice mental realization. So you're not just beating yourself up because why do I feel this way? Why am I feeling like this? When that is just the reality of being deep into a bulk. <laughs> Alright, so moving swiftly on to meal five, we have another just typical bodybuilding meal. Same meal as before, but coconut oil instead of the MCT oil. So we have 250 grams of white rice, 150 grams of chicken, and 15 grams of coconut oil. So just keeping it basic, simple, but effective. And then be into the last meal in a second, and then we'll go to bed. And if you're wondering what this beautiful sign in the background is, two of our microwaves are broken, so we're making sure that we put in the right stuff so it doesn't break again. All right, guys, so it's a bit later. I was thinking of whether or not to include this, but I just want to be as real as possible and show what I'm actually doing. I'm honestly a bit embarrassed to say the time. It's 2 a.m. And I have my bike here and some you know, 10 grams of EAAs for my cardio, which I'm about to do. And the reasoning for this, I usually do it fasted in the morning, but I didn't have enough time this morning as I had limited sleep last night. I'm getting eight hours before I 
went with Jared Tazoo culture today. So usually I do it fasted, but because of circumstances today, where I couldn't do it before and I didn't want to compromise my sleep, I'm gonna get it done. But you know, this is the problem with doing college, bodybuilding, uni work and balancing all these things together or balancing is not really any balance i am not going to miss my cardio today so i'm going to get it done even at this crazy hour um and the reasoning for this was between the last clip and now i was seeing some friends um spent a couple of hours with them having a great time time flies trying to live in the moment but you know then it finishes and i still have this stuff to do and this is going to set me back tomorrow because now my sleep schedule is later than i want it to be but i prefer as in my stubborn nature to get everything done and then start my day late tomorrow and then almost play catch up then skip it today and then go to bed knowing that i didn't do everything that i knew i could have done so that's just how i think of it obviously it's not ideal ideally i should manage my time better so i'm not in the situation in the first place but i'm here right now so i am going to do 30 minutes on the bike and get it done. All right guys, so I'm back from the bike ride. It was a bit of a grinder, but ready for that last meal of the day, meal six. So I'm knackered, but I will get this down promptly. The last meal is 175 grams of lean ground beef with 100 grams of green beans, and then also 70 grams of cream of rice, 25 grams of honey, and 160 grams of pineapple. I'll leave the total macros and calories for the entire day on the screen right now. And if you'd watched the previous full day of eating, I'm eating a similar amount of calories, but the food choices from today were very different and I'll elaborate on that right now. So I was eating more volume, I guess I'd say, and it was slightly cleaner, but it got to a point where I was continuously eating later and later and my appetite was terrible so it's still like i mean it's just realistically when you bulk your appetite is not as good the further you get into the bulk as you need to keep pushing up food but it was so bad that i was really force feeding every meal and so i made a change which is to change rice krispies and honey and some of the protein powder and those are switches that i've made now from foods like beef a lot of rice and some fruit like blueberries so Anyways, it's a similar amount of calories, but the reasoning for that is because now it is less volume, but it's still calorie dense. So I'm getting the calories in, slightly less clean, but gotta do what you gotta do to keep getting this amount of food in. With that being said, it's been a long but productive day, but I'm knackered, so I'm gonna head off to bed. If you guys enjoyed the full day of eating, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.